Holy dude, what the hell just happened? You hit really hard on something. I don't know what we broke, but we broke something. It's bad, dude. How much, why? Because it is. It looks good on there. Yeah, they're wrapping the tow track, wrapping the car. up as it was gonna get now it's a lot lower how impressed is mark dave yeah dave left dave wanted no part of this are you serious dave's like i got stock suspension bro i can't be caught around you anymore <laughs> i'm just joking he actually he actually went to get some cash because we're going to take care of you on top of whatever i gotta deal with with curtis because that's how we roll we make sure everyone's taken care of you got an instagram blow you up this one and that one and deflate this one and it takes the pressure off of that corner you got it sounds good so all you have to do is don't touch it here we go oh. like a glove. for a broken car that's about as easy as they go on and off isn't it yeah right, right? Did you get to drive the tire slayer? <laughs> Welcome back to Avant Car Exotics. The only shop that's open 24 seven. I'm just that, joking, they're not, they're not. Can you believe that on the last video that we just posted where you're doing the brakes? And who was it? Someone's like, Dave. why is Mark changing brakes at 11 o'clock at night on a Tuesday night? Because it's 24 seven here, you guys. <laughs> Anytime you need something done. It's always Brandon. Why, why? Brandon's the one that Yeah, he's like, why it. are we doing the brakes at 11.30 at night? And Dave was just saying, Dave was just saying, because they're a 24 seven shop. Keep going, just keep going. More jacking, yeah, less talk. You know, it's, it's bad, dude. How much, why? Because it is. You know, this isn't that bad. When it went down at like 45 miles an hour after the tracks, and all I could hear was the entire underbelly of the car, that's the part I want to look at actually, was scraping and I had to make a turn while doing that. Take the light. All right, here we go. I'm going in, I'm going in. What's in there? Oh, it is broken. Sorry. That works. Ooh. That's the top of the shock. Oh. And it's busted off. Oh. The shock absorber? Yeah. Really? Yes. Ooh. So, Ooh. if this leaves under its own power tonight, it will be a miracle. Snapped it. But I. That's gangster. Here, you, can you hold that for a sec? I'm going to zoom in. Oh. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah, go ahead, get in. Get in tight. Oh, we're in tight now. So can, can you, does it move? This? Um, this is. Oh, look, it's free flowing. It's psh, 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 That's actually already there. there. Going all right? All right. <laughs> Lucky for you, you've got us. Think that's fixable? I think Or do uh, we need a whole new thingy? I think you're gonna die trying. It's is this, adjustment. is that custom? That's a racing stripe. It's a, we did that, didn't we? Yeah, that's when it plowed into the frame of the car. Into the frame, oh. Sweet. No big deal. Hey, uh, a little bit of Get bags, they said. It'll be fun, they said. 
it's a it's highly adjustable highly you know, it's adjustable you can go from driving to not being able to drive it in like a block <laughs> it was actually about 40 feet you got the APX lowering kit instead listen you just keep working on whatever project car you got there buddy it's always the honda owner that's got that comment for you when right what do you got to say over there when you're done that windshield this one's waiting for you this car's not going anywhere <laughs> Yeah, you do hit it. It's already been hit with a rock if you haven't noticed. Look at this. I have a crack. I have a crack that goes from right about there and it goes and makes its way all the way to in front of my face. Oh uh, yeah, spoil me. I feel like I just filmed an entire episode of you wrenching inside a wheel wells. Do you have any technical information on how this how this went down? Like just spit me off something that's like we broke the shinya hini hini off the rear to rock. No, you took the the shaft of the pist or of the shock absorber and Seriously. it broke off clean. Really? Right at the top. It's just one of those things where the leverage was perfect. You hit it and you just we might be able to extract out what broke and replace it. I don't promise anything. Okay. About done for a while. I'm not gonna need anything yeah, else. Yeah, I I'm good. That in the video. Car solid. Don't need anything. Yeah. Then we're like, this is David we're talking about. But yeah, yeah. good job. Nice try. Wasn't Stay me. Forever. Wasn't me. The Slayer has been slayed. Um, the shock absorber broke. It sheared off the top. That used to live right there. Yeah. So the airbag, with all of its pressure, went inboard. You can see it blew out the heat shield or shoved it in. Yeah. And it actually shattered the air box. Really? Right there. Oh. I don't know. Will the camera pick it up? Oh, yeah, for sure. So I get the camera. Well, you can actually... What else do you need? I'm um, almost there. I like the light bar. This yeah. thing's crazy. Only the finest. For Midnight Hi, Auto. Dave. We're totally Midnight set up for Midnight Auto. <laughs> hey, that R8's looking pretty darn reliable right now, isn't it? Hey! Hey! hey. The, uh, take out the reservoir. Reservoir. Jeez, there's a lot to this, hey? Yes, sir. Never thought I'd see this out so, of my car. You basically decapitated the shock. Hmm. I'm interested what's going on here. Well, what I'm trying to do Push it. is the end of the, end of the shaft, yeah. I want it to get back to the hole. <laughs> CPR, CPR, <laughs> give it the... <laughs> oh, you went that far. You, went that... you got it? Um, I don't know if that's really it. I mean, what we call that it? Mm. We, got it we got it centered again. So, Wow, it is. So if we do away, if we do away with the adjustment valve, which I'm about to take this off, we may be able to save this on the freakiest of truth. Do we have the technology? Um, if I can get this to come up, then we'll be able to save it. Do you have a steady hand? No. <laughs> We're halfway there. It's so badly mangled that this doesn't want to come up through. It doesn't want to fit through the hole? Yeah. So can you unscrew it and pull it pull out of the bottom of the bag? No. By the way, to be clear, this is not an air suspension airbag issue. This is a, I snapped a shock absorber. I mean, if it could have been another shock absorber. Mark said this is like literally the perfect storm of whatever went on all happening because 
not only did it snap the shock absorber, but it didn't like, what was your explanation? If you're gonna hold a stick, give me the stick theory. Your, your stick. Right? So if we wanted to break this stick, where would we break it from? I'd break it in the center. Yeah, we would do something like this and snap it, right? Yeah. So where did I break my stick? Your on the stick, shock we decided, Damon, hey, break the stick, and you, for whatever reason, decided you were gonna break it from the very- The tiny little, end of one it. of the hardest places, so it's just- It's just a case of perfect leverage that you hit it and it snapped. Interesting. Didn't stand a chance. Interesting, you guys. I would have burnt it. If you asked me to break a stick, I'd just burn it. Yeah, but that's You'd the You'd burn a approach. stick? Yeah, I'd just burn it. I'm gonna break it and burn it. Dude, it's a metaphor. Well, underneath that black base of the shock body is a, is a hex that is the, just about the diameter of the shock threads themselves. Yeah. I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the shock off of the, uh, or the bag off of the shock. Yeah. So, I saw what you're talking about with the chain. Are you talking about putting a chain on the thread? No, 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 no. Putting a chain around the clamp of the pack. The silver ring that's right on the bag, in the bag and the, yeah. uh, put a chain clamp on there and you can actually twist it off that way. Well, every time I do that, it, it just runs the, the body of the shock up. Well, I think you need to eat your Wheaties because you need to tighten a little bit more. Um, I'm offended <laughs> and uh, I promise that won't change anything. Cause I'm just turning again. I'm just loosening what I'm jamming. I don't know if I'm- Why is it so tight? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's as tight as this front. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Okay, well we're gonna, we're gonna make like a bunny and see if we can uh, build this thing out. I would get a bigger one. More leverage. Ooh. No. What happened? I think it's tight enough. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Things we do for DDE. Yeah. If if you want R and D, I'm your guy. Yeah. If, yeah. If you, it's, it's either the daily driven exotic guys R and D or mini truckers. You guys are always breaking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. It makes us better. He straight up just took his belt off. I thought he was gonna beat Dave. Uh, Runs me my childhood. <laughs> that. Oh. Holy! Oh. Bringing out the big toys. That's called the Thread Mangler 9000. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. No. Did Damon seriously save the day? Dude, this, here, oh, well, we need it. Here you oh, go, Dan. You can finish the rest. He wanted to hang himself, but we put the news to a higher <laughs> purpose. Well, as soon as you start talking, like, I'm saying <laughs> the threads, and I'm going, hold on, we've broken enough <laughs> in my car tonight. What do you mean, we? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> we? My rain light doesn't work. Whoa. Hey, we haven't, we haven't determined that. Hey, hey. You got to give it to Bobby. He did say on the call, some of us just have more muscles than others. <laughs> did he not say that? I, do I don't know if I was recording it, but Bobby, um, you're right. When I see what else is, dude, this thing is cash money, bro. I, well, I mean, it does have the nice little curve, and I know you, well, what? for me it's kind of curved. Are you, are you oh, talking, wow. Are you talking about that it's jammed into the body of the I'm shock for the... inexplicable reasons? <laughs> it's pretty I'm bad. It's, it's pretty bad. That's a, that's a better than full <laughs> <laughs> they bend back. It's that's not like Damon does anything wild or reckless. Hold on. We stand back. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you want me to do anything either. else around the shop? You want me to fix the GTR? You're hired. You want me to fix a California? <laughs> what are we doing, baby? What are we doing? Get this section oh. right here, Dave. <laughs> pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Oh, wow. No. Seen better days. Oh. Most people want the curve for your pleasure, but not in that application. Oh, you just rotated around. Now the bend's over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a point where obviously I'm done. Flip it over. I actually do have this. Muscles. I, I sense he's going to smash it into something. Oh! You need that part anyhow. Weight reduction. Oh God, I'm cringing. Yeah, whatever. Um, Damon, um. One. Ben. Kind of, what kind of discount in labor do I get for doing all this? <laughs> for a new. Seen that? For a new vice? <laughs> hey, hey, damn it. 
It really doesn't matter if the shaft is bent. It needs to be replaced. It bends to the left. Hangs to the left a little bit, guys. I'm not panning down right now. <laughs> if we can attach the end of that thing and put it back together, it, it'll work. The airbag will keep it from jamming. What could possibly go wrong? What do you want to do? What do you want to do, bro? Yeah. I'll put that thing back together and shove it in the car. I don't care. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? Tow truck number two comes. Yeah, it blows out at 100 miles per hour. Well, what's the turnaround to get another shock? I don't know. I'll make a phone call right now. Hey. So <laughs> Sorry to bug you. Hey, there you are. You got a new one of these? Uh, uh, I get one next day. This one's a little bent. Why'd you do that? Nah, I didn't. I said a railroad tracks did this. That's Southern California roads for you. Hey, do you hang to the left or the right? I can turn it around. Just tell me. I, I just twist it around so it don't matter. Uh, I'm getting an next eight. I have a set at the shop now. Uh, I just need all the stuff you have there put onto the new one. So you need this. I need that. How far is his shot from here? Like hey. That far on the map? Roughly 130 miles. Okay. I think we'll do 30 and he can do 100. And meet you halfway. You want to meet tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and, and turn it around by tomorrow. Yeah. We're so. fixing this tonight. <laughs> Don't make me put a California suspension in my car, bro. I'll be at the shop. Uh, you're going to bring me Starbucks. Send me your order and the time I need to meet you tomorrow morning. Well, I'll leave now. I'll be there at 1. That's technically the morning. <laughs> okay. See you in the morning. It's too late. What? So does this mean that Damon gets a new nickname? Like I'm the brake slayer. He's the shaft slayer. <laughs> <laughs> has Mark changed much with fame? Because Mark now has 17,000 followers on Instagram. He's thanks become to you guys. far more humble. He, on the weekends, he goes out and hands candy out to babies. First of all, if that's a choking hazard. You can't win them all. It's good intentions. Yeah. <laughs> the thought's there. It's the thought that counts, right? I gotta go and figure out my suspension or else the tire slayer ain't gonna be able to slay no tires. You send it, we mend it. Right? <laughs> that's what their line is. So, hey, thanks again. What? You'll need this one for the What is this? The oh, off. that's the tip that broke. That's just the tip. Oh my just goodness. But what if I was just like, you know what? Maybe this is a sign that like, my car isn't meant for this stuff. Hi, Bobby, you killed it, bro. And the reality is, is like, come on. You couldn't do that if you tried. Right? Nobody could have done this. Yeah, you couldn't have broken it. It was just that like hitting that really bad dip in the bump on the tracks and just the hole. If at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I wanted to take the Choi advice, which millions was and millions, millions, and millions and millions and billions and, billions and, and zillions millions. of dollars Lamborghini invested into R&D so that we could beat on our cars the way we do. Choi is a genius, you know that. He is kind of a mad genius, isn't yeah. he? If he had a white cat, I wouldn't even want to talk to him. Because <laughs> he would just pet the cat and run the world. Yeah. Except With his the, glasses except on? Except he would be purring. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so evil, that thought. <laughs> Absolutely. What am I going to do, guys? What am I going to do? Put it in the comments. Stock suspension or ride it out for the air ride? I don't know. I'll call you guys tomorrow and let you know. Thanks for having me. I don't get a fist bump? Hold on. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> guys, Pete. Dave, close out the video. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Smash the subscribe button and good news. New merch is a few days away, so check that out. See you guys. Here, close it. Put your hand on there. Boom. Thanks, there you sir. go. How you doing? Good. How you doing, bro? Ah, I've had better days. So, do I get to keep my air suspension or is there a, like, what should we do?